Hello and welcome for another day of Chernobylite. And my mouse just went off the screen, so hold on one second. Let me close this out. Uh, this is day four, I think, technically, or three. Uh, but we're going to finish this tonight. So, we all we need to do is grab the clues, and then we should be able to finish the heist, I think. I think. Uh... We have one out of four. And I think the first place that we need to go to is Pripyat Port. Uh, if I'm correct. Yeah, I have, um, I put, uh, the heist and final missions in the title. So that should help this too. Uh, let's see, 95, 99, 95, 95, and 100. Start the mission. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this, how this goes. Um, if we do finish it tonight within like an hour or two, then I'll probably jump into a new game. Um for a little bit i'll probably jump into hey oh um trying to think of the game uh that road 96 i downloaded that so i might actually try that out so you wanted to get into more mainstream games i can find out what's popular right now uh, I mean, I'm pretty up on it with like what's going on. Uh, one of these, I don't know which one. But one of these is definitely a clue. So I guess we can just head our head to each one. Find out. Um... But yeah, I don't know. One game that I have been like really wanting to play is uh, actually um, Naraka Blade Point. That's one game that I've been thinking about for like a while now and been kind of wanting to play. Uh oh, the music's playing. Tanya. Whoa. Remember when they used to call this place the dish? We used to come here all the time. And you'd tease me whenever you got the chance. I love you, Igor. You know that. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook. I want you to see you challenge yourself for real this time. No more books. No more equations. No more quantum physics. After you finished your tea, I want you to take my hand and come speed skating with me. You're not going to science your way out of this. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Even though I was the ice skating champion in Muramans, I'll take it easy on you. Whoa. That was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we have this now, too. Well, we, we've had this for a while. Um... So, just as a, uh, I guess you could take it as a warning. Uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be playing, uh, that's still objective or no? Tomorrow I'm going to be playing the expansion for Marvel's Avengers. Uh, the, who is that? Oh, that guy was spotting me. Um, War for Wak Wakanda. That drops tomorrow. So I'll definitely be playing that, uh, or at least checking it out. Um, oh, but I, I don't think at this time I'll, I'll be on tomorrow actually. So I lied. Um, uh, tomorrow... 
I actually have a tattoo appointment. So I don't think that I'll be able to. But just did I just get a new um at three tomorrow? Yeah. Um wait, is that a gun? I think that's a gun. Maybe I already have this clue here. Ripiat Port. That's where we're at right now. But I don't have any other clues. <laughs> Um, hold on. I might have to Google this. Or open up a different one. What is the veteran in the tag se section? Uh, veteran is for previous uh, veterans, basically. So I was in the reserves for six years. This is why I use that tag. And funny enough, my uh, my unit is actually getting deployed like as of yesterday. So if I stayed in, I probably would not be streaming right now. But yeah. Okay, I can't find the the thing. So I guess we're going to I don't know if we're just going to go to each area and just have to look for the clues in each one. I don't see it here and I don't see anything on the map. Usually they come up as points of interest. So we might be stuck just going to each place and looking for them. I mean, luckily that wouldn't take too long. Anyways, it's just a little tedious is all. What the heck? Are they running for me? Do I have to complete the objective, I wonder? Or can I just leave? Wait, if I don't need the objective, then I'd rather just leave. Hold on. Oh, cool. Yeah, you literally can. Only other person I know who has that kind of experience, I can shoot a firearm pretty well. I never went that far. Yeah, it's not, yeah. <laughs> It's interesting, to say the least. Mission failed, all good. Let's see what we got here. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, yeah, actually, let's go to Olga. Let's increase my health. Health bar. Can I talk to you? How you do? Eat this touch by there. What it does that? Hi, Olga. Fantastic. No. 
Increase my health. Today I'll teach you how to stay alive a little bit. No, I'm just gonna skip this. Trying to stick to the main story. The main stuff. Here. Open the door. Wait, maybe there's a guide right here. Uh, let's see. Spot all clues. Boom. Woman in the red dress. Uh, we've got that one. Nar, president of Princell. Quest. Some excuses found as part of the quest. Oh, God. Really? Does that mean I have to... Oh, wait, maybe? Wait, maybe it's something on the quest board. Am I missing something on the quest board? Investigations conducted. Now I have everything there. I think that's what I need. Weird how you can have everything complete, but then investigation status. Yeah, that's what we need. So, oh, you need the facts. We have one out of three. Or wait, do you need the, the facts or the clues? I'm confused. We can't run the simulation, right? There's three out of three, three out of three, one out of three. Not prison. Prison. Three, four. Okay, let's try to go to each area. Let's see if we can find them there. Oh, wait, it's dark. Oh, I hope that this works. I don't really want to do the entire mission over again. I was reading that you can find them without um, doing the mission. You only need the facts. We see the prison on here. second
Okay. I don't know. I'm really like not sure. Ugh. I don't know if we have to actually like go back and do the missions. Which is kind of a big annoyance if you actually do. That's like a lot of time. Like I could do the heist, but Olga is just going to leave because I didn't have enough info. Ready for some action, you? One second reading. Just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I looked up heist leaving and it takes me to the GTA. If I should just like keep searching the area, there's really not a lot of information out there about this game. Like as far as ending wise and stuff. I'm just doing this for the sake of doing it, to be honest. All right, let's check this area. I don't know. Let's see if we can find some stuff. It's just annoying having to run around to each one and not knowing if you're actually going to find a clue or not. All we need are the three facts and like technically, uh, Get the map. uh, let's see. Alright, well, let's see if we can get this here. Just gonna kind of speed run this. I would like to finish this game tonight. I wish we could just jump straight into running the mission, though. Is 
There's something on the roof. See, can we can we fall out it? Nope. Oh wait, that is our giant objective. I meant to go this way. Dude's back. Ah. I mean, I can finish the heist without everybody, but it's just going to suck. Yes, this guy's in here. Not doing that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's going to save more time by just rerunning the missions than doing this. Okay. I think I know what we have to do. Hopefully we don't run out of food between now and then. Wait, it says during free roam. What? This, uh, this whole <laughs> final mission here is me trying to figure out how to get this damn clue. This one right here says, win a red dress. We got this one. Pick up the bone fragments. Easy. That's done. All good to go. Instead of leaving an art complex, go back to where the cells are on the upper floor. There's a cell you can unlock with a lockpick. Okay. During that quest, I guess that's the only way you can get there, which sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, Kozla's room. During this, you can either kidnap or kill if you do that. Uh, if you choose to kidnap him, you have to come back during free room to get this clue. So, like, what happens if I go to the main menu? I know there's free room there. Like, oh, shit. That was exit game. <laughs> One sec.
replay. I don't think this actually, I don't think it actually does anything. I think it's just if you want to like explore the world. Okay, let's try going down here. Do this. That'll, this'll let us forget the memory. Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end like this. Go, die, fade, portal, help. Die. I'm gonna run this real quick as we're doing this. Kostya asked you to give him. You felt. Kostya, you felt. You successful. You decided to kidnap Kost. You and your team had two options for dealing. You made the You met with Koslo. You brought Ko Koslo accused Olivier. Where's the Nar you read prison? The NAR Don't tell me I have to run like multiple missions over Sashko here. in the end. If I have to run multiple missions over again, you I'm and not your doing team, it. You made the You decide What is this? Chain reaction. So we need to get to after the quest open the prison cell after the quest chain read. Then we need to go to Kozlov's room. Basically. You met with Koslov and his You broke The Black Stock. You read the end. A kid. Sashko asked you to in the end. Sashko, what if they? You reach the. You pass. Oh wait, I'm looking at the top. I'm looking at the. Hold on. You and your team. You made. That's Kozlov kidnapping. You decide. Kozlov kidnapping. You met with Kol- Kozlov kidnapping. You brought Kol- Kozlov kidnapping. Kozlov- Our truth. The Black- Black Stalker. You read- The truth about the NAR experiments. You fa- On the other side of the barricade. Sashka in the end. Checkpoint assault. You met Koski at- Voice in the woods. You reach Traitor. Sashka, what? Hardware for the real men. You pass. 
Final exam. Mikhail. Big fish. You went. You did. Some excuses. Mikhail. Hermit. Gorgi. Old friend. You met. He tried. Old friend. You see. Gail in trouble. Mikhail. Hacking into the NAR servers. It's not going to be down here, but I'm just checking anyways. Well, you can Old documents. Terra. From trail. Olivier. Weapon transport. Terra. Meeting with Tarkan. Sashka. Memento from the past. This mission doesn't exist. It does not exist. It doesn't exist. Quests and their companions. <sighs> Hold on, let me read this here. Now to help back, back to your base, you cannot build tools. You can only start the heist even in the day if you want. All companions on your team, you should have all collected tools. You should have uh, finished the investigation boards in your room to convince your companions to go with you. Sorry, missions before. Uniforms. Charges. From Quest Hardware for Real Men. Power Plant. Plant. Kolslov accused Olivier. I don't know if I should just do this one. Oh, wait, no, that. You and your. You made the. But we're still gonna miss a. a thing. If we don't do. uh. woman in the red. Okay, so if I go here, can't find anywhere, uh, three and four from red dress board. A few times, still nowhere to be found. Just behind the scientists at the end of the quest. Quest, some excuses, quest. Nar prison, is that the quest? This is NAR prison in a prison cell via lock picks. I think you only need these two though. From, from Seminov. Some excuses. In Pripyat in Kozlov's office. Uh, Southern tent in Lenin Square. Pripyat and Leaven Square. Let's try going there. Let's try going to both. Pripyat and Lenin Square. If we can't find them out in the open, then we'll have to redo the missions, which sucks, but I don't see any other option. So. We'll see. Okay, so we're just gonna go to sleep, wake back up. Oops. Getting ahead of <laughs> ahead of myself, running up to the wall, getting ready to start the mission.
only reason I'm like kind of rushed this is just because I I just don't have as much time as, as I do on the weekends. So I'm trying to make it as efficient as possible. Where are we at Central? I don't know which one's considered London Square, but let's try going to Pripyat Central. Yeah, we have a bunch here, so there's hope. There's potentially hope here. Oh wait, and I think that might be the prison down there, actually. Wait, I think that is the prison right there. There's hope. That guy's searching for me. Finally, some definitive proof. Tetiana is at the power plant. There we go. I think we might have it here. running around out here. I hope we run into some rabbit dogs. I always wanted to shoot a dog. I hate that guy. Why would he say that? It's horrible. Literally. I think it's up there on that monitor. I just need to be able to get up there, it's all. Get upstairs. Come on. Shoot. Oslov's office right here. Yep, there it is. Doing, doing. Doing. I think if we just kill this guy, then we, we should lose them all. Technically.
Is he really gonna search for me for another two minutes? Alright, by the time I get down there and kill him, I'll be better off. experiments at the power plant why are they in such a hurry after all chernobyl belongs to them you escaped from a loony bin or something no no from an orphanage but that was a long time ago i'm just looking for my brother i don't want any trouble not so fast and this whole business with ghosts huh running around scaring people mother bushka told me it's bad luck to fuck with things like that <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you can really handle yourself. Are they dead? Yes. That's too bad. Karma always comes around. Oh, is that a fact? Next time, I'll just let you get tortured and killed. No, it's not like that. These two NAR soldiers, their journey has come to an end. But it's you I'm worried. You're a good person. That kind of violence. What are you? A sage? No, more importantly, I have strong feelings about where Athanasius might be. But you let me guess. Got it in one. I need to figure out how to approach this. I'll see what I can do. But in the meantime, will you let me know if you find anything out about Athanasius? Of course. Stay safe. Um. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, actually, let me check one more thing. We should be good on all the clues and everything. So, uh, I mean, we could go do this real quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I need your help. What? What's going on? I need a big steel crate. The bigger, the better. Have you seen any? Big steel crates? Can't say that I... I need to capture a Nazi spy so I can learn their secrets. It's the key to capturing Berlin. <clears throat> yeah, a lot has changed. You don't need to capture Berlin anymore. You can just visit. Go sightseeing. What? You can... I knew you... Anyways... I'm in need of some ammunition. See you later. Was one heavy armed soldier, Jesus. Bring the food back to our squad. Okay, hopefully, we have all the clues now. We got two of them while we are here, so I think those and uh, the two were pretty big clues I think so 
I don't know if I've ever been here outside of the, the missions anyways, so it might have worked out. Yes, simulation ready. Let me just fill everything up. Run simulation. After this, I think we should be good to do the heist. Absolutely sure about that, Professor Semenov? Um, it's the only logical explanation. Okay, chat. I'm back. Sorry. All right, so let's continue here. I got a uh, letter in the mail. I thought it was something important, but it wasn't. That's not a sufficient explanation, not by a long shot. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean that the wormholes are... No, that is impossible. Why impossible? Think about it. Just because we've never seen an organism powerful enough to create, withstand, or even direct the exotic energy found near black holes, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So these fractal tunnels, they're also organic. So we're what? Traveling through the veins of a giant multidimensional Moby Dick? Right now, thanks to his trials, only the Black Stalker is. And if you like to play with metaphors, I would say more like a giant multidimensional squid. And that would make the shadows, what? Some kind of external white blood cells? I quite like laboratory. that theory. They are here to nourish the main host and protect it from intruders and diseases. Us? Most of us, yes. Shadows emerge through the unstable gate, so you don't think it was retaliation or an invasion? No. I would rather call it the reaction of an organism that was attacked by something foreign. By foreign, you mean our test subjects. So shadows are some sort of antibodies. Exciting, isn't it? And Amelieva is like the correct protein, the conduit. She can communicate with the beast, but the beast can also speak through her. I've seen Whoa. what happened to subjects who were exposed to Chernobylite. Getting some face time with this must be unsettling. Man, sorry, I left those important. It took a while. No worries. Hey, it is what all do good. you care? I did Our as well, too. Will for go a down in the history books <laughs> next to Newton and Einstein. 
Of course, Professor Simonov. I got the clues that I needed. So true. Just, just some, some kind of sentient, multi-dimensional organism, and Tanya can communicate with it. This is. I can't even wrap my head around this. Somewhere in the fractal world, 21st December 2012. It's been so long, my love. Why can't I hear you anymore? Since you gave birth to the boy and fell into a coma. You used to visit me in my dreams. I miss our conversations. I... I miss you, Tanya. Sometimes, I think I lost my way in all this. Lost myself. We both made so many sacrifices, and now I'm not even sure what awaits us at the end of this road. But this is our only chance to be together. You cannot lose hope now. Please, just let Semenov have what he wants. Give it to him, and then we can have each other. Poor bastard. It seems his delusion keeps him going. But I need to focus. I have to find out what Tanya is supposed to give to Semenov. <laughs> Minecraft in its prime at the end of 2012. <laughs> it's fascinating, Professor Semenov, really. But I'm here to discuss business, not scientific curiosities. Our investors need to see a return on their investment. You don't need to worry about that. It can be monetized in ways they can't even imagine. But that's just the thing. These people don't like surprises. They want to know precisely what to expect. New types of weapons, medicine, a new means of transportation. All of that and more. You can tell your precious investors that the millions they're pouring into our project will come back to them as billions. And what about the Duga radar? It's been drawing all kinds of unnecessary attention over the years. These dark tourists and those damn stalkers. It has served its purpose. You can scrap it and make razors for all I care. We've got Amelieva now. She's the ultimate conduit. What we have in the works right now, it will transform the NAR into the biggest conglomerate in the world. It's going to be a trillion dollar business. We will use Amelieva to stabilize the gate to another world, the Chernobylites world. And once we are able to travel there, this will be a revolution unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. Oh boy. Humanity. You could call it an ontological shock. Ontolo what? Never mind. Okay, as long as you find a safe way of putting a dollar sign on it, you've got the permission of the board. <laughs> but, you know, just keep your feet on the ground, okay, Professor? We're here to make money, not destroy the world or cause shocks of any kind. I've got it all under control. Everything is in place, and our patient zero is ready. Dear God, so of that's course. what Semenov needs Tanya for? Stabilizing a wormhole? A gate to the origin of Chernobylite. I need to get to the power plant and find her fast before he can carry out this insane plan. Who knows what can happen to her or to the world? I've got to make a plan and move fast. I wonder if we'll, uh, Get to talk to them now, now that we know that info. Woman in the red dress, there we go. We got everything now. Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's see, can we actually start it this time? All the check marks, all of the clues, everything acquired. Let's see. Everyone, it's time to hit the power plant. We all know it's not going to be easy. We tried before, and not everyone made it. But this time we're smarter and better prepared. I know we can do this. We have to do this. 
It's the only way we can find Tachana and end NAR. Mousy, you're talking about striking at the heart of the Rat King. But have you learned everything possible about his plans? I have evidence that NAR was conducting Chernobylite experiments back in the 90s. Tachana and her baby were two of their subjects. With the rate at which their technology is progressing, soon nothing will be able to stop them. We must act now. What about that black mask-wearing motherfucker? Have you identified him? His name is Boris Glukov. He, Tachana, and I were close friends until he betrayed us. He helped the KGB gather evidence against Tachana, then continued to work for NAR after my accident. He experimented on himself with Chernobylite and ended up with great power. He's strong, one of the strongest, but we can beat him together. Do you know what NAR is actually doing at the power plant? Why is it so important? A and what does it have to do with Tatiana? NAR wants to create a permanent wormhole to the Chernobylite world and get to its source. Tatiana's abilities are needed to support the space-time bridge. It's hard to know what happens if they succeed. But what they're doing is unbelievably risky. They could unleash something horrific on this world or become unstoppable themselves. But we're never going to know the outcome. Because we're going to stop them. I like the pep talk, Professor. I think you even gave me a bit of a job. But do we have the right tools for the job? Yes, we do. We've got everything we need to infiltrate the power plant. This is much bigger than anything any of us has done before. If you want to back out, this is your chance. One organization holding this much power is against everything I believe in. And besides, this is personal for me. Count me in. You know how I feel. The Red King must be stopped at all costs, Mousy. I'm in. I started out doing this for a paycheck. But I'm going to end it for my brother in arms. For Anton. Let's do this. Whatever it takes to protect my people and drive NAR out, I'm on board. There you think we I'm gonna go. back out now and miss the best part? Fuck no. I'm with you, Igor. I appreciate your trust. We Sweet. can't count on the element of surprise, but we know enough about NAR's vulnerabilities to make this work. Time and again, NAR has shown they would rather capture than kill me. We can use this to our advantage. We'll dress somebody up as an NAR officer, escorting a prisoner. Me. That's our ticket inside. We have two NAR uniforms, both male. Any takers? I'll do it. I have no problem posing as an NAR officer. My hand is still giving me trouble, but I can deal with it. You should take someone who can keep his cool when things go sideways, as they inevitably do. Trust me on that. You're not seriously thinking about going without me? I'm a blast at parties. Ask anyone! Uh... So... This is for the infiltrators. That's so gonna be Sashko. All right, we still have one more uniform. Any takers? NAR must have upgraded its digital defense perimeter and surveillance system by now. A skillful hacker should be able to at least temporarily disable them. I'm your man, Mousy. The great rat catcher has blessed me with a knack for that kind of thing. Electronics, surveillance, computers. There's no one better than me. I wouldn't call myself a black hat, but I know enough. As long as we don't get into serious stuff, I should do fine. The tech? That's gonna be Tarakon. I need someone to cover our asses in case we end up in the shit. Someone who can take down a target from a distance, or at least create a diversion. Firearms are my preferred method of solving problems, but I can definitely distract them. My shooting's impaired since I injured my hand, but I can manage. What's there to consider? I'm your gal, Igor. Olga, you are going to be a sniper. Last but not least, a spy. I want someone to monitor NAR activities and keep us informed about their moves. I've been watching these assholes fight the reflection for years. I know how they think. I'm your guy. I know the power plant like a boy knows the woods behind his house. 
Let me take care of it. Mikhail. Does everyone know what to do? Last chance to reconsider. Firm your choices. We've got Olga as the sniper, Mikhail as the spy, Tarakan as the technician, and the two infiltrators. Confirm. This is it, my love. The last stretch. You've been through so much for me. Make sure you're ready, because it will take everything you have. Your wits, your strength, your plan, your companion's loyalty, everything. Good luck, my love. Here we go. I'm ready to finish this up here. This is it. Today's the day. Whatever happens. Everything sorted, guys? Can we start our prisoner escort off? I'm ready. Though my hand still hurts like hell. If the uniform doesn't get us in, we have one more ace up our sleeve. Their friend enemy password. They say, we quell the storm. And we reply, and ride the thunder. Remember it. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. How's my techie? Have you logged into their system? I'm in, Nelsie. What do you need me to do? Overload their systems? Bypass security? You ask and I'll do it. But don't be rash. Once we get started, it's only a matter of time before they kick me out again. Spy check. How are my eyes and ears? Eyes are bright and my ears are wide open. I got the plans and codes up and I can hear those boring fuckers chatter like they were sitting in my lap. No worries, Igor. With me on your side, this'll be like walking to the grocery store. Sniper, are you in position? Have you got eyes on? I'm all set, Igor, and I feel good. This is just like my hunting days. I could shoot the fly off your lapel. All right. There are a few sentries outside the gate. That's obstacle number one. Taking them out quickly is certainly an option. And with the silencer, I should be able to keep my position. It's your call, Igor. Better use the side passage for now. You can always kill them on your way out. <laughs> Don't forget that you're a prisoner, Igor. Downcast, hopeless. Use this to our advantage. Alternate Your plan no. sounds reasonable, Mikhail. Do it. It's not easy to find, but because you wisely asked for my help, you'll be on the other side in no time. These assholes won't see a thing. All right, we got this. So we're taking an alternate route. Let's see what comes up next. Try to get everybody and keep everybody alive. Apparently there are multiple ways of doing this as well. Just as you can see, we have three options right there. I keep accidentally dodging. So do I have like my hands tied or something? So far so good, but it's getting harder now. NAR's upgraded some of the old security features. The electronics are the least of your worries. Nobody said anything about this exposed courtyard. You stand out like a signal flare at a funeral, Igor. Be extra careful. Security checkpoint. What used to be a radiation detector is now a biometric scanner. Clever. I already found the right database. I'll upload your biometric data and you can walk right through. 
I can't get a line of sight on all of them. Maybe I should target those fuel tanks on the far side of the gates. That'll keep them distracted long enough for you to slip past. But if we do that, I'll have to fall back from this position. Those NAR security systems can be broken by someone with enough know-how. Those IT wankers probably spent their upgrade budget on porn hub premium content. <laughs> Once those gates read my biometrics, my cover will be blown. We need to convince them somehow that we're friendlies. Overload the gates. Tarakan, I like your thinking. One moment. Yes, done and done. Those gates won't be a problem, Mercy. Time to move. With a little luck, they won't notice us. Now this is Choices Matter. They really do. <laughs> the entrance should be very close. It's a large metal door to the tech access corridor. Nothing I can't handle. Remember the charges I prepared for breaching security doors? Powerful, but quiet. Like sticking a curling iron into a pound of butter. Or maybe you want to save them for later. Very sad. Keep your hand down, Igor. There's a fucking sniper on the building above you. Stop yelling. How do you know? Picked it up on the radio. They haven't Stop made you yet, but if you trigger the alarm, is. they'll come down on you like a swarm of Kajushas. Damn. If I force the lock, it'll trigger the alarm. This will be tough. I can try to remotely unlock the door without tripping the alarm, but no guarantees. You'll have to move very quickly, Mousy. Let me put that guy on the platform to sleep, and you can make as much noise as you want. The lock is wired to the alarm system. But Sashko's charges will destroy both the lock and the trigger mechanism. I should be fine. Kill the sniper. All right, Olga. Do it. Bullseye! boy we made it inside we're safe at least for now these tunnels just about make a beeline to the reactor from there the way to the arc should be easy what the fuck the electronics are sizzling as if they're going to explode that's to be expected Mousy. the power plant's electrical system is antiquated falling apart we should find a way to short circuit the power i have access to the circuit board Perhaps I can cut power to the nearest corridor. Have you been listening, Mousy? I can turn off the entire sector remotely. No problem. I'll only leave the light on at your location. I can't shoot the switchboard, can I? I, I would have to go there in person, which would almost certainly compromise my position. I'll be no, out the be game horrible. after that. Tarakan, I like your thinking. Today, the darkness is our friend, Mousy. You're completely now safe. Ice. You are getting there. Where'd they go? I was just behind them. Jesus, the heck? Getting close to the reactor floor. 
I think we managed to dodge the main security detail. As long as we maintain our cover, we should be good. Step very fucking lightly now, Igor. The place is swarming with those cocksuckers. NAR has beefed up security around Ark for some reason. Either they're preparing for something, or you're walking straight into a goddamn trap. I'm in the Golden Corridor. It looks like NAR beefed up security He's after our little escapade. He's looking right this way. Not unexpected. Don't be a fool, Igor. Let me take care of it. If I can take them all down silently, they'll be dead before they know what hit them. We have to convince NAR that we're their contractors. That's our ticket inside. Let's try the prisoner escort charade. Just act bored. Stop right there. I don't recognize you, soldier. We quell the storm? And ride the thunder. Prisoner transport in progress, Private. Okay, go ahead. Nice. Going pretty good so far. Pretty good. Damn. We need to get past these scientists. I can help you, Gore. You don't need sniper cover at this point anyway. I'll come closer and see if I can stir up some trouble and get the scientists to evacuate. Then I'll clear the area if necessary. The Brainiacs have their own dedicated comms. I can put my fabulous acting skills to work and tell them to fuck off, but it's a two-man job. The Great Rest Catcher has smiled upon you today. I can help. They're not soldiers. They won't buy our fairy tale. If we don't come up with something convincing, they'll sound the alarm the moment they see us. Oh, the spy plan. Tarakan, I like your thinking. Sounds good, Mousy. It shouldn't take long to hack the comms. Attention! Nemanja! Achtung! The reactor's about Yo, to Yo, what's going on, Rap Loose here? How you doing? Everyone? Oh, yeah. Kind of I I I've, sorry, I was working earlier right? when I saw your message. Fucking Anatoly, a break is a break. Um, I'll check it out in a bit. Uh, I did watch the video, too. That's awesome, man. Thank you. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll check it out again and I'll respond as well. These old ventilation ducts will take me straight to the Ark. <laughs> will do. Go through the alternate route with this. Hold on. Let's see. Huh. Wait for your response. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. What the hell is this? Was it here before? Looks like some sci fi fucking movie prop. The door is trapped. Touch it. And I'll spend my last moments on Earth convulsing on the dirty floor. This door wasn't supposed to be here. Mousy, the ventilation duct should not be secured. The Rat King is watching and waiting. I can feel it. The main generator is in sight. If I sabotage it, you'll have a few moments before the backup comes online. Wait, Eeyore! Remember the map you borrowed from that fucker Semenov? It shows another way in. Guess it was worth it in the end, huh? Sashko's explosives might come in handy now. Yo, what's going on, bad? How you doing, man? Alternate passage. Your plan sounds reasonable, Mikhail. Do it. The doors are behind you, Igor. Cut through the crap on the other side, and you'll find a nice, fat ventilation duct. Climb up in there, and it'll take you straight to the Ark. We're almost there. 
Here we go. Pulling off a heist right now. We've been able to get through so far undetected. Oh, they scared me for a second. Are you seeing those creatures? I hope the bars hold. I might be able to open the gate from this panel, but there's a chance I'll release the things in those cages as well. Do you still have some of my explosives? Would really come in handy about now. So this is the heart of darkness. Just as menacing as I imagined it to be. I will gladly burn it all to the ground. The NAR will track me down afterwards, but I don't care. Bad, what have you been playing recently? Eagle. This place is one big fucking trap and totally off grid. The only way to open it from where you are is to crash the whole system. Unless you have some explosives. The Ark is just outside. Luckily, I still have some of Sasko's explosives. I can put them to good use here. All right, we're taking this gate down. Let's do it. Nice. Mortal Kombat 11 and... Oh, really? You've been playing Metro? Nice. Wow, I can't believe we made it this far. You heard the man move! The priority is to protect the lab! Damn. Looks like we'll have to fight our way out. These guys are the last thing standing between me and Tatiana. I can't back down now. I'll fight my way in if I have to. I've got an idea, Igor. I know a way to turn this around. There's still some charges left. I can sneak past the soldiers and detonate the main gasoline tank. Trust me, I'm not in that much of a hurry to die, but I, I don't see any other choice. Oh no, this sucks big time balls. I wish we had someone inside who could get those assholes to look the other way. What the? Here we this go. This is General Koslov speaking. All troops stand down and evacuate the building immediately. That is a direct order. Koslov? He was silent for so long. I thought he was dead. Don't keep the general waiting. Outside, now. Hi, Eagle. Bieb says hello. And also goodbye. Koslov? My nephew told me what you did for him. He asked me to return the favor. I've always had a soft spot for that boy, so this is your lucky day. Me and Glee are leaving this place for good. We're going to disappear where NAR can't ever find us. I would advise you to do the same, but I know you won't listen. Good luck, Igor. May you find whatever it is you're looking for. Thanks. And good luck to you both. Nice. Everyone, we are almost wait there. here and watch the perimeter. I have to do this alone. Here we go. Here we go. Tatiana. We finally, finally. found her. Igor, my love. My child. It's been so very long. But it's finally you. It has to be you. You know it in your heart, my love. I've been calling out to you for all these years, and you answered. But how? You shouldn't be here. It's a mistake. You'll only bring great misery on us all. My poor little boy. All of us together, finally. Release me, my love. Free me. 
What did you call me? I don't understand. What can I do? There's nothing you can do. You have to end this. Both of us. We were a mistake. An abomination. Close the portal. Destroy the connection. W what connection? The connection is the strongest force in the universe. It cannot be destroyed. It has to be completed. It is our destiny. Go to the reactor. Find it, my love. It is waiting for you. Find what? No more waiting. Please, can't you just let me die? I can't take any more. Tanya? Go. Die. Fade. Portal. Tatiana, are you still there? Boris, help! Die! Igor! I don't understand. Oh, fuck! Reactor, Chernobylite. Well, what do I do? Oh, fuck, I need to figure this out! Hi, Igor. Happy to see me. Olivier? Whoa! What are you doing? Do you really need to ask? Did you think I was an idiot right from the beginning? Put the gun down. Whatever it is, we can work it out. You are such an asshole. I've been helping you all this time. I made sacrifices. I lost my best friend just to help you find this dear old lady of yours. Olivier, please. Not once, not fucking once, did you offer to help me. It was always about you. Semenov was right after all, every word. Semenov? What's he got to do with... Wait. Yes, I was working for Semenov. He hired me to keep tabs on you. It went pretty well until your black mask buddy went off piste and killed Anton. But Semenov, why would you work for that lunatic? What could he possibly offer? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a chance to change what cannot be changed? To go back in time and save my squad? But that's crazy. Crazy, sure. Is it any crazier than going for an interdimensional walk in a tunnel through space-time? I'm not saying it's impossible, but... But helping me was never on your agenda, was it? I should have seen it sooner. Besides, you're not the only one experiencing strange fucking things, you know. I keep having these dreams where I die. I wake up and I live again. I see our friends being killed because of your screw-ups. Then it's a new day and everything's normal again. It's motherfucking Groundhog Day in hell. What do you have to say to that? I don't know what to tell you. You're right. I just never thought anyone else would see it. I thought it was only me. Sure, sure. Semenov isn't the one with the Messiah complex. You are. But today the Messiah descends from the clouds and helps his companions, right? Like I said, it's not impossible. But this is neither the time nor the place. Not good enough, Igor. I'm serious. I'm serious, too. We don't know what's behind that door. Semenov wanted me here for a reason, and it wasn't to destroy Chernobylite. So I promise you, once we see this through, I'll do everything in my power to help... Say it. To save my team. To save your team. Okay. That's good enough for me. I'm glad we understand each other. All right, I'll be back. Keep an eye on Tanya. Sure. I just hope you don't screw things up and get us all killed. Again. I'm tired of this carousel of madness. So that's why you needed him as good. Because otherwise it would have been a mess. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just waiting you for me. You took your time, Igor. Cut the crap. It's time you gave me some answers. Yes, we'll get to that. But since this is our last meeting, I want to ask you a question first. Fine. Just make it quick. What do you really hope to achieve, Igor? Chernobylite is the cause of all this. I have to destroy it once and for all. You may find this surprising, 
But our goals are actually aligned. How's that? We were both going after the same thing. But this whole time, we've been chasing someone else's agenda without knowing it. Chernobylite's agenda. Come on, man. I've come too far to be fed a line of bullshit. Let's start from the beginning. Do you know who I am? I sure do, Boris. You were my closest friend until you decided to betray me. To take Tachana from me. Boris is dead. I killed him on that fateful night. April 26th, 1986. And took his identity. Good riddance. He was a treacherous piece of shit. You took his? Liar. Why? The more important question, the question you somehow failed to ask yourself all this time is, who are you? I'm because Boris? you're not Professor Igor Kiminyuk. You never were. I am Igor Kiminyuk. I only changed my name to protect you and your mother. Protect me? How? By trying to kill me at every turn? If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it the first time we met at the power plant. Wait. Will you quit talking in fucking riddles? The truth is hard to swallow, I know. It was hard for me, too. You are me. The Chana isn't your fiance. She's mine. Everything you know about her, everything you remember, none of it is yours. You're living someone else's life. My life. You are my clone, sort of. You got my body, my brain, my skills, and most importantly, my memories from before the Chernobyl disaster. What do you say? How is that even possible? Tatiana was sterile. That was our personal tragedy. But when Semenov imprisoned her after the Duga fiasco, she fell pregnant. At first, I thought Boris was the father, and I was angry with her. But that was another of Semenov's lies. He needed me to stay on the project and study Chernobylite. So he injected Tanya with the nano solution. What happened next was... I don't know what to call it. An immaculate conception. She gave birth to a boy. You. You grew much more quickly than other kids. I knew it. But That's... Mind didn't seem to I was going to say, we're the sun. It was different, somehow. The Chernobylite no doubt affected you in unpredictable ways. I never really considered you my son. You scared the shit out of me. I didn't know <laughs> what to do with you. But it was obvious that Semenov would incorporate you into his experiments. Or maybe cut you open and rummage around inside. Until one night, Tanya, your mother, communicated with me telepathically, even though her body was in a coma. She pleaded with me to release you into the woods, and that's what I did. You're saying Tatiana's child, who you released in the woods in 1990? But that's impossible. Impossible! I don't remember any of this! Of course you don't. You looked like a teenager that had the mind of a small child. I remember giving you a sweater that Tatiana knitted for me. The night was so cold. It had my name on it. The sweater? I had it in the camp. I was imprisoned and... Yes, it could have been a trigger. Your mind somehow began to rebuild itself. Why in my image? I can only guess. Perhaps you were constructed from Tatiana's desires, from her expectations of a child. Funny, how I called it pseudoscience. I suspect the process was somehow facilitated by the Chernobylite. But she's been calling me this whole time. She wanted me here. I'm afraid you were bamboozled, my poor boy. We all <laughs> you were, were bamboozled. It wasn't Tanya who called you here, but... It was I. Chernobylite? But the images, the voices... It was it. They felt so real. I know. It got your mother you. was your biggest weakness, and the entity exploited that. It wanted you here. It has plans for you, you see, and I cannot allow it to succeed. Someone sent me a photo of Tatiana and, we destroy and the piece it together. of Chernobylite. Those weren't hallucinations. They were real. I couldn't have constructed my portal gun without them. Oh, that. It was that bastard Semenov, of course. He wanted to bring you here as well. He never got over it when you vanished. Not that it matters now. 
I really hoped you would stay away. But it's too late now. I can't allow you to interact with the Entity in any way. Only one of us is leaving this room alive. Wait! Can't we talk it over? We just did. Goodbye, son. Igor. I wish there was Igor. another way. There's always a way. Oh boy. Hmm. Bring it on, boy. Of course I didn't bring enough ammo. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so dumb. You're making this too easy, son. But dad, no. Why would you do this? I really can't Come believe on. I didn't bring any you other. He would literally be dead if I if I had my uh, AK ammo. You're making this too easy, son. Uh. Uh. I don't have any more healing besides this. Wait, is there ammo? Let's see. There is. Oh my God, there's ammo right here. Potentially? Give me ammo. I need ammo. Really? Are you serious? Already. I promise to make it quick for Tachana's sake. On me. I won't do the same for you. This gives me no pleasure, but it has to be done. Ouch. You're making this too easy, son. Oh. 
Oh my god. Got right for ammo. Oh God. Come on, okay. show me the new and improved Eagle coming up. I wish there was another way. I won't let you hurt her. You're making this too easy, son. You're up already. I promise to make it quick for Tachana's sake. Why did you have to come here and complicate things? I wish there was another way. Don't come go on. easy on me. I won't do the same for you. Ah, die! Die me! There it is. need a force field to defeat you. <laughs> My hand disappeared. I told you to watch Tanya. How on earth did you get in here? Focus, Igor. Look familiar? Hey. Where did you get that from? Where else? I took it from you. From your cold, dead hands, Igor. I... What? Where? When? In a reality where you fucked up, my friend. From one of the many worlds bearing the brunt of your failures. Are you saying that you come from a different... That you're from... <sighs> this is hell. You have no idea. Where are you going? Back to my screwed up world, of course. You know me. I'd prefer to die fighting. Wait! Don't waste the chance I've given you, Igor. Finish the job. I'll do my best. I'll try. Oh, I have tactical armor on me? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Alright, let me heal up real quick. Please, 
It will kill her. It will kill the love of my life. Of our life. Please, there's another way. Just let me go. I've suffered long enough. You can do this, son. You can be the man I could not. Be the better version of me. Go through the portal and face this thing. Undo the harm we both caused Tanya. No, do not do this. Kill me. Just kill me, please. Finish it. It's time to end this once and for all. If anyone can hear me, run as far from here as you can. Everyone, run like hell. Run! How do I get out of here? That's the question. Wait, how do I actually get out of here though? Looking for the exit, that's all. Here it is. Thank you for showing me the way. I won't waste this, I promise. Goodbye. You can rest now. The protagonist never explained to his comrades exactly what happened at the power plant, but he came out changed. The Chernobylite vanished entirely. The zone is now free of it. Igor Stalkers drove off the remaining NAR troops and even convinced a few of them to join the cause. Now they're working together for the good of the sandwich shells, tracking down the few remaining monsters still roaming the area. Olivier never had the chance to change his own history and prevent the ambush that wiped out his team. Igor's example convinced him to abandon his plan and accept his flawed past. That tragedy, after all, made him the man he was. With time, he made his peace and, in the end, was grateful to be part of something bigger than himself. Once the events in the zone were finished, he sought out Anton's fiancée and took care of both her and her daughter. In spite of his flaws, Olivier will always be remembered in the zone for his courage and grit. Mikhail's life was always full of violence. He was the angriest, most obnoxious man Igor had ever known, but he was also unfailingly honest, both with himself and others. Mikhail's thirst to avenge his murdered friends was his main driving force. But working with Igor and the others eventually made him appreciate the kinder aspects of life. What are you doing? It's just in spite crazy. of his rough manner and the darkness inside him, Igor came to like the neurotic stalker and by the end considered him a true colleague. Mikhail decided to remain in the zone and join the others in protecting their shared home. Sashko had always been the lone wolf and daredevil of the zone. Life had always been harsh for him, and he learned the hard way to rely only on himself. 
His crusade against NAR began with a desire for closure regarding his brother Ruslan's death, but Igor's quest to find Tatiana was what kept him going until the finish line. After the events in the zone, Sashko decided to go back to Moscow and face the hard truth about his parents' death. Eventually, he would return to Pripyat, which became his second home. Tarakan's fight against the Rat King has reached an end. Having barely survived the zone, he realized his time was up. Now, someone else must carry the torch and defeat the evil lurking in the power plant. But Tarakan wasn't worried. After all, he had prepared Igor and others well. Tarakan's true identity was never discovered. Was he a madman, a saint, a spy? Perhaps he was all of these, or perhaps none of them. But one thing is certain, the old man was a true child of Pripyat. His restless soul will forever wander its marshes and woods. When all was said and done, Olga's thoughts went to her mother and the Samoshils. She had joined Igor in his mission because she knew what it meant to live with a hole inside you, a hole left by the departed. As a troubled teenager in Minsk, she'd never planned to become a freedom fighter or martyr, but sometimes we encounter the person who will change our destiny at just the right moment. Life is unpredictable that way. Olga decided to continue serving as the huntress and ranger of Pripyat's forests, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who wished harm upon her people. Like so many before him, General Koslov made the wrong choices while chasing a dream of the good life. War taught him about the cruelty and inevitability of loss, leaving him indifferent to human suffering. It was only thanks to his nephew Galib and Igor that Koslov found a serendipitous moment that placed his life on a new trajectory. He realized that some victories come at too great a cost. Koslov left NAR at just the right time and lived out his days in quiet contemplation, somewhere far beyond their nefarious grasp. Semenov's ambitions and neuroses eventually got him killed. He was a brilliant scientist, but could never come to terms with the collapse of the Soviet Union. Though not a devout communist, Semenov could not stomach the chaotic aftermath, for it reflected the emptiness of his own heart. And so he chased his green Chernobylite dream, hoping his experiments would usher in a new world order. In reality, what he sought was to fill the gaping void in his own soul. In the end, everything he thought he had achieved disintegrated into nothing. He died and NAR dissolved, most of its mercenaries wiped out by either the shadows or the Samoshils. All that remains of NAR in the zone are the empty barracks and derelict labs, stark reminders of a misguided ambition based on human misery. Faced with staggering losses, the shareholders halted all funding. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Chernobylite. I, sorry, I was on mute for a second there. Huh? Yeah, I was muted. Uh, <laughs> so, this game turned out a lot better than I expected. Um, I remember seeing this game at PAX for, I have said during my playthrough, uh, the last like two or three years that I've gone. 
and uh yeah i thought it was just gonna be like a survival game in chernobyl but the story and everything was actually a lot cooler um all of the uh the voice acting was pretty good the choices and all of that was pretty good like that was it was way more than i was expecting and again uh I did get a key for this game uh, from the devs through key mailer technically so thank you to them um, I was this was one of those games that I was excited and wanted to play but I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick it up so because of that uh, it's one of the reasons why I did pick it up and and play so yeah it was pretty good pretty cool um, I would love to see a second one or a sequel or something. I really don't know how else they would do it because technically we destroyed it. Uh, but either way, I mean, it was still really cool to see and, and play and everything. So I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, for, for the price that this game is, I think it is worth doing or getting. There is still so much more that I probably could do. Um, there aren't really side missions, but there's points of interest. So, yeah. Um, pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. I, I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I played it. And I'm also glad that it was actually, uh, worth checking out and everything. But for now, that is going to be the end of the Chernobylite playthrough. Not sure if we'll ever return to this game, but who knows? DLC, something like that, I would be down for more. Um, we could also probably, I mean, there could be a Chernobylite too, and maybe you play as Olivier or Mikhail or one of them. Imagine a Chernobylite game that had co-op, and it was like a four-player co-op game. Where either you create characters and you help clear out other areas that Chernobylite is still in. Or monsters or... I don't know. That would be really, really cool. But at the same time, just another story would be re neat too. Um, there are difficulties for this game. So there are harder difficulties and all that. There's technically even a free play right here. Um, you can jump into any area. And really just explore events you can have events you can have weapons perks like if you wanted to load in uh you could i think the uh Pripyat central that one was my favorite